Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now, over the last several weeks, we've been looking at different glasses and AR technology. So when I saw this product advertised, I reached out to the team and said, I'd like to have this in our studio for testing purposes, because I think that it creates a really unique value proposition, unlike any other of the solutions I've seen so far. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. These are the Super Hexa Visions. Uh, they have augmented reality, they also then have camera capabilities. Like you talk about an action camera, this is a face action camera, something that you can wear and be in the action. Let's go ahead and check them out. Now the Super Hexa Vision are gonna be interesting to look at, as you can see here, uh, but they do have some really noteworthy capabilities. First of all, they do have the ability to support real-time translation. They have live streaming capabilities, which means that you can use this as a content creator, someone who's blogging. Let's say, for example, you're skiing, you're biking, you're in this active lifestyle and you'd like to share with everyone what you're doing. This is gonna help you with this. Also, if you happen to be in nature, they do have some really cool features where they do plant recognition. So if you're worried that you're gonna step on something that you shouldn't, this is gonna help you. Or if you're looking at something pretty interesting and you'd like to know what it is, it'll help you as well. Now, it does have a wide and telephoto um, camera, right? And you're talking about 50 megapixel wide angle, eight megapixel dual camera. And then it has a micro LED. This thing that you see right here is a micro LED. Actually, it's a micro OLED that surprisingly, I can see really well and I can see all the content that's right in front of me. Uh, matter of fact, I can see the actual script that I'm reading right now in my eyeball right there in that little small window. Now, in addition to be able to have that little micro LED, we're talking about 1,800 nits of brightness. So this is relatively bright and I keep on looking over to the side really quick because I'm just amazed on how bright it is. You're looking at also 3.3 hours of runtime, 100 minutes of recording time, and you'll be able to charge this, you know, uh, within 30 minutes to 80%. Now it does have onboard memory of 32 gigabytes. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Now with the glasses, you're gonna get a couple things. First of all, you get a really nice travel case, and this is the travel case that you receive, and inside of it, you're gonna receive some accessories, which we're gonna pull out right here. First of all, as you can see here, you have this compartment here where you can keep all of your accessories um, set aside. So in here, basically you have uh, a USB-C uh, to USB-A uh, converter. You have some shades here, right? So these you can actually uh, put on and and then uh, almost like, um, they're like sunglasses, right? So if I remove this for a second, you'll notice that I can see through them, right? And so you have these sunglasses that you can wear. Um, I have glasses, right? And you saw I was wearing them just a couple seconds ago. So these are the glasses that come with it. So you can use these if you choose to. And we'll put this back in here. And then what you do is you get or receive this cable, right? We'll go ahead and put this over to the side. You get a charging cable and it's a magnetic charging cable, which I think is pretty cool. Like the fact, um, we're seeing more and more devices that come out with magnetic cables like this. And this basically attaches right here. So if you notice here on the leg, it just attaches right there uh, when it charges. Now, this is what the glasses look like. And I, I, it's more a frame than it is a glasses uh, or a glass because obviously if you don't have any lenses on, it's just a frame. Now the frame though has a lot of tech in it. Uh, first of all, uh, as you saw here, uh, basically you have your cameras here. So notice your cameras that you have right there. Now you also have this eyepiece right here, which gives you again that uh, small uh, OLED or that basically gives you that ability to see uh, the actual images and the text right in front of you. And it is adjustable, so you can move this up and down, forward and back to get the right alignment with your eyes. Now, you did see that I also had my glasses on, right? So I kept it with glasses on. You can wear these with contacts. Um, it's kind of weird if you have two glasses uh, on on top, you have a frame in this, but it, um, it does work. Now, over here also, and we'll go ahead and uh, put this right here so you can see, it does have some speakers here. It has, everything is touch, right? So basically, you're either gonna use a finger, double finger, like to, um, like this, or you're gonna do tap gestures. Um, those are, it's gonna allow you to navigate the operating system that's on there. Now, uh, I've been trying this uh, to do some recordings, right? And I'm gonna put this on so you can see what this looks like. The nose piece is, is something that's easy to adjust. Keep in mind that I'm still wearing glasses, right? So those of you who don't have glasses, 
you probably wouldn't you know wear it like this but what you can do is you can adjust the the uh, the nose piece to lift it to a certain level how you'd like it or you could just leave it um, a little bit lower right it all depends on how you'd want it i'm going to take off my glasses just so that you can see what this looks like without glasses um, this is what it would look like right here right so obviously a lot more uh, natural if you can call this natural if you are not wearing um, glasses like I am at this point but the cool thing about this is that it also has voice uh, voice commands that you can use to actually enable um, a recording session so there's an app that goes onto your phone and you can actually tell it to start recording and it's gonna catch everything now we also have action cameras here right and we mount them on our chest we mount them on our bikes and what I find so compelling about this is that you literally have an action camera on your face that as you look at left right if you look up or down is capturing everything for you which I think is spectacular uh, now you know if you uh, wanted to use this for example the shades now the shades are going to come out nicely especially if you're uh, out in the summer you know very hot um, area where there's a lot of sun coming up you know that's something that you would be able to use and we're going to go ahead and and insert them um, into mine right here so that you can see what these look like. Now inserting the lens is pretty straightforward. All you do, and we'll put this on camera right here, uh, just push in right here, the little cap there that I just removed, and then you just snap in like this. Now let me show you what they look like now. So now I look cooler. It's almost like I look like a Borg. Uh, you have the lenses on and you're able to still see, and I find that the lenses because of the shading that it brings in it makes even the actual screen even pop out even more that's pretty cool uh, so again this is one of the things that you would be able to wear and again use now the cool thing about this is it's really hard to show because the screen is so small it's almost like some of the AR glasses that we were talking about but when you're doing the translation it does have certain languages it doesn't have every single language yet but um, I had uh, in Spanish, right? I had it doing its, its translation thing. And I thought it worked really well as far as um, having the conversation and being able to uh, see the translations happening. Now, the one thing about translation, obviously when you're wearing something like this, it's probably gonna distract a lot of people because they're gonna be looking at you like, what are you doing? Because of, again, uh, the very futuristic way that these um, glasses look. Uh, but um, video quality is pretty cool and I'm gonna show you some samples next. And again, if you're looking to give someone something that, and this is a person that has everything, I bet you they don't have these. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just show you the overall quality of the camera that we have here in the Super Hexa. And if I were doing a review on this scooter, which I will be, I can talk about all the features. I can literally just look at what I'm referring to and then it's gonna record everything as I'm speaking about it. So this is the cool thing about this, and now I can go ahead and zoom in. So you can see how zoomed in I am here, so you can see how close. Let's see how much closer I can get. Looks like that's as close as we can get. Yeah, and we can pull out just a little bit. So that's pretty cool. And all I'm doing is sliding using my finger, and bring my finger back in the, in the camera. Here it is. And I'm gonna be moving it um, like this up and down and the focus let's see how quickly this thing will focus okay that's focused all right let's uh let's pull out a little bit see if it goes back into focus it does and let's bring our hand in focus and see if it switches so this will give you a sense of like the performance and keep in mind that what i have is an early version right so the software I'm sure is gonna get improved over time. And what I can do is I can just continue to look and all I'm doing is just walking around as I'm doing this, looking at the back of the scooter now and I'm panning up and it's almost like if I have a gimbal, but I'm just using my head because I'm looking up and I'm looking down. It's pretty cool. So this gives you a sense of the overall quality and you know, what you can expect. So I'm just gonna walk around the scooter just to give you a sense and just look at it and there goes Nelda's phone so you can see how much is being picked up very cool so guys that wraps up our review see you in the next one